So you wanna build yourself a creator PC and your budget is roughly around $750. Perhaps you can stretch it even to about 1300 or something like that, or you have even less, about 500, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what parts to choose to get the best performance creator PC for your budget. Believe me, this is the best tutorial you can have as a creator, which PC to build. And after watching this video, you'll know exactly what to do, where to get your stuff, what videos to watch to get it all set up, everything. But before that, let's check out everything about our sponsor. CCL is the one-stop shop for all your creator PC needs. Whether you're looking for PC parts to upgrade, full systems, laptops, monitors, peripherals, you name it, CCL's got it. With their competitive pricing and great reviews, it's a no-brainer. Use the code TN10 to get a special discount when spending over 250 pounds. So for your next purchase, consider checking out CCL in the video description below. So we're gonna jump into the parts in a moment, but there's five absolutely crucial things that I need to mention to you, otherwise the rest of the video won't make any sense. Number one, different budgets. If your budget is slightly more than what you're seeing over here, then please check out the four-part video Video, which this is the first part of this four parts check out the second third or fourth part to fit this actually to your budget perhaps your budget is a bit more you can go there I'm gonna talk about all the upgrades and downgrades and everything so there is a video for your budget whether it's more or less you can find the rest of the parts of this best bank for book video series in the description below and hopefully by the time you're watching this, the prices of these parts and the budgets might be even lower. So you might be getting the same performance, but actually even lower. So worth checking out the latest pricing in the description below. Number two, you might be thinking, I've never built a PC. I don't know how to build a PC. Don't you worry, there's a build guide linked in the description below as well, where I'm going through every single little header, little part, everything. So after watching that video, you'll know, do not actually, I might be able to build myself a PC and you absolutely can. Yes, I might be using slightly different parts in the build guide, but believe me, it's exactly the same. It's like Lego bricks. Doesn't matter if I'm using a red brick, it still goes there. So you can be sure that you can build yourself a PC after watching the build guide. Number three, setting up the PC. After you have built the PC, there's all the drivers, OS, system configurations, and everything on the software side after you've built it. How do you do all of that? Well, there's good news. There's video tutorials linked in the description there as well. So I'm not gonna make this video seven hours long. You can find individual how to set up guide in the description below, how to configure your fans, how to install OS, how to install drivers, what to do after you've built the PC, when you can go through slowly step by step and get all the PC set up for you. Number four, where do I buy all the parts? Where do I actually get the parts? Well, if you do click on that little arrow underneath the video, that will show you the description of the video. And in the description of the video, you can see all the parts linked out that I'm talking about in this video. And when you click on the link, it's a smart link that hopefully will link you to your local shop. So whether you're clicking from the US, from the EU, from Germany, from Australia, wherever you are, if you click on that, hopefully that should bring you to your local shop. And you might see different options of shops when you click on the link. It's completely fine. I've just linked all the different shops for the same parts for you. So you can click on the different shops and make sure that you do get the best price um, whenever you are buying this part or wherever you are located. So I highly recommend check out each shop. So it might be cheaper on Amazon, Newegg, CCL or Best Buy or some other places that you like to shop, then check out your best shop because you might have some special discounts and so on as well. So everything is linked out there. I just want you to get the best price for these products. And number five, clarification. Once you see the description, there is a little tick and then maybe there's an arrow up or arrow down, a little plus sign basically this just to simplify the my recommendation and then an upgrade option and perhaps a downgrade option there as well so just so you know what these signs mean it's all linked down below so if you want to find anything everything is linked in the video description where you can find the rest of the information now let's start with the parts of this pc and i'm excited because you're going to get a killer pc 
for your money. So for the motherboard, we're going to be using a Gigabyte B660M DS3 HDDR4 motherboard. It's $94 right now on the sale. And basically, this gives you all the basics you need. It's also got a few upgrade options. So you can add like a secondary M.2 slot in there and four RAM sticks. So if you want to upgrade your RAM and so on, you can completely do that. You have pretty good I.O. as well. You've got a USB-C port. You've got fast USB connectivity, 2.5 gigabit LAN and so on. It's a very good motherboard to get started with. You're not going to find a better motherboard for the same price because you're going to start to lose so much more features or something like that. But this is the best bang for buck sweet spot. For the CPU, we're going to be using a 10 core CPU. Can you believe that for this price point, you can get a 10 core CPU? This is the i5 12600K. We've done plenty of builds with this on the channel and it's a fantastic CPU. It also features the iGPU inside. You can later upgrade to DDR5 and the timeline performance as a video editor and the photographer and even 3D when you're working in the viewport is absolutely insane. Like to get this CPU for this price point, it really blows my mind because this i5 is better than any of the previous i9s. Yes, 11th gen i9, it's worse than this one in every single way, which is just ridiculous. For the cooler now, because this CPU does not come with a cooler and you do need a cooler here, the cooler is Thermalright Assassin X120 SE, which is about $19. And this will get this CPU cooled very, very well. And you don't need to worry about that. $20 cooler, absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do want to save a little bit more extra and perhaps your budget is less than even $500, then I highly recommend you checking out 12400 CPU because that CPU actually comes with a cooler in the box. It's a little bit cheaper than that, $180, $90, something like that. And you can just use the included cooler and you're saving even more money. So I'll leave that in the description below as well. So now for the SSD or for the OS drive, we need our storage. For the storage, we're using Team Group MP33 512 gigabyte NVMe drive. So this is where your OS is gonna run and you're gonna have a little bit of space to have some simpler projects in there. Obviously 512 gigabytes isn't loads, so you're probably gonna be needing another SSD or hard drive or something like that. So wait for the upgrade options, but to get you going and even give you a little bit of space, cause you could go 256 gigabytes for the OS drive, but the 256 gigabyte SSDs are not that much cheaper that it makes sense. So the 512 gigabyte is absolutely amazing. For $29, you're gonna get about three times faster SSD speeds than any of the SATA drives. It's gonna be great budget option. For the RAM, we're gonna be using 16 gigabytes of silicon power value gaming DDR4 which runs at 3200 megahertz. 16 gigabytes is great to get you started. It's probably gonna be at the bottleneck of this system. And I highly recommend you to check out the upgrades if you have any flexibility in the budget, but it's still good to get you going in a very, very low price point and give you a lot of upgrade ability because you do have four RAM slots on the motherboard. So you could easily add exactly the same kit twice later on when you've got an extra $40, boom, pop it in. You've got 32 gigabytes, voila. And for the GPU, we're using ASUS RTX 2060. So this is six gigabytes of VRAM, and it's a very, very good GPU to get you started because you need the extra CUDA cores to give you acceleration on video editing and color grading or even 3D and so on. It's a great budget option for $220 or $30, something like that. I'll leave a few options in the description below because I see the pricing of this uh, part fluctuate the most out of all of them. So check out the uh, recommendations there as well. But basically don't go with any of the 16 series cards. Like you will be ripped off for that. But for GPU, you're not going to get any better than this. It's going to run very quiet. It's low power as well. Absolutely awesome. PSU, we're using Thermaltake Smart 600 watt ATX PSU. And this will be well enough to power your CPU, GPU, everything in the system and a little bit of upgradability as well. At this price point, you're not going to get a better PSU than this. And last of all, we need to put all these parts into some sort of case. And what I have here is the Zalman T7 ATX mid tower. And this is 50 six or 55 dollars and actually it looks pretty pretty decent uh, there's a lot of cases out there that are very cheap and look absolutely random and feel free to go with any of them if you like any other better but 
I like something that's kind of minimal and looks still okay, but still gives us good performance as well. First of all, we've got the front panel that is mesh, and then we've got two 120 millimeter included fans that come with a case. So we'll get a bit of a better airflow with this price included as well, which is fantastic. Now the total for this is $730. $3.48, which is just really, really good price point. And if you're asking me, look, I don't have that much cash. What can I save to get save it even more? Remember the CPU option, you can go even lower and just skip the GPU for now if you don't have that cash. You have an iGPU on both of the CPUs and you can do basic editing tasks uh, in there, especially if you're a photographer, you don't really see any increase in performance if you go with a dedicated GPU. So feel free to leave that GPU out and upgrade it later when you've got a bit more cash, perhaps even go in a little bit higher GPU. So if you take the GPU out, you should be able to get this PC for about $500. Now, if you have a little bit more budget to spend, roughly up to about 1300 then these are the upgrades that i would choose so for the motherboard upgrade i would go with the gigabyte z690 ud ax ddr4 so basically it's the same kind of uh, family of motherboards but upgraded to z690 chipset which means that you're going to get more bandwidth and more connectivity and so on so now we've got three m.2 slots on the motherboard they're all gen 4 speeds you're gonna get a front panel usb-c connector for your case as well if you've got usb-c for the case panel you still get four ddr4 slots so we can use still ddr4 which is very very affordable we're gonna get wi-fi and bluetooth built in as well as well as the fast connectivity of usb ports usb-c ports and 2.5 gig lan and so so we're gonna get quite a big upgrade and future compatibility if you want to upgrade a little bit more in the future and so on plus wi-fi and bluetooth and so on they're very very important to get next of all for the cpu we're going to be upgrading the 12 600k to 13 600 k for the new generation of cpus bear in mind if you do use 13th gen with that motherboard that i just mentioned the z690 gigabyte ud then you will have to do a bios update to actually support the newer generation of cpus but you can completely do that with bios flashback if you don't know how to do that i've got a tutorial on my channel as well the bios flashback basically just put a bios on the usb stick stick it in the back of the motherboard you don't even have to have anything installed on the motherboard just plug the power connectors in press the button on the motherboard and it will update the bios and then you can install your 13 600k no problem this 13 600k is 14 cores it's more efficient and more powerful than the 12 700k from previous generation i7 so this is ridiculous power again and i highly recommend go with this one if you do need any upgrade so if you're a photographer or videographer this will be a very very big performance uplift lift from the previous generation and for the cooler, we're going to be upgrading to Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120 SE, which is roughly about $35. $36, something like that. It's a dual tower air cooler that's super, super powerful. Very capable of cooling the 13600K, perhaps even 13700K in some of the cases. So if you're gonna go with the 13600K, I highly recommend upgrading the cooler as well because it does require a little bit of a higher cooler. Because the CPU 13600K does require a little bit of an upgrade in the cooler department. Next of all, the NVMe drives we have, we're going to be upgrading them to Kingston NV2 one terabyte drives. Right now they're on sale, $52. Hopefully they will be when you're watching this as well or check out the alternatives that I'm going to link next to it. But this will give us a double the amount of storage from 512 to one terabyte and per gigabyte price actually is going to be better than the previous. Uh, model the mp33 from team group and it's going to be actually slightly faster as well than the previous drive now also if you have any extra budget you can also get a secondary drive of the same drive and have this as a project drive just pop this into the motherboard absolutely completely doable 
or even third drive you can do that as well but just careful with the price point so you're not going to go too much over 1300 or so because then you're going to start to enter the next video and then i have a completely different list of products to recommend you now the ram we're going to be upgrading to 32 gigabytes of silicon power ddr4 32 gigabytes so now two 16 gigabyte sticks and if you later want in the future you can upgrade double of this and get 64 gigabytes so we have all four sticks actually installed for the gpu upgrade i highly recommend you go straight to rtx 3060 from 2060 to 3060 leave the 3050 out because uh, the performance is not going to be as much as this here and you should be able to get this for around 360 dollars i'm going to leave a few models in the description below right now i'm looking at the zotac rtx 3060 which i've had on the channel as well this is the black version there's white versions as well or a pny uh, model which is the verto model another black version there very nice 3060 so this will give you double the amount of vram so if you are a 3d creator then this is going to be amazing for you or a davinci resolve user for example then you're going to love the more vram of your gpu very very big performance improvement for you but if you are a video editor perhaps like in uh, premiere pro then again if you're using 4k footage or so on it's nice to see that 12 gigabytes of vram in there but also the cuda cores going up and so on so very nice performance boost in the gpu department if you're wondering what's the actual performance difference between different gpus of 30 series i highly recommend you check out my gpu uh, performance benchmark chart where i benchmarked all the 30 series gpus so you can go and check that out for the power supply now we're going to be upgrading it to 650 watts only 50 watts more but we're going to change the power efficiency to 80 plus gold now i'm going to leave a few options in the description there because they constantly change as well whether you're going to get evga model or this animax model that i can see here for the same price about 89 or 90 dollars you're gonna get modular power supply so less power glutter and more power efficient and basically more kind of pure juice for all your pc compartments and eventually you're gonna save more on your electricity bill because it's more efficient than the previous model and if you can upgrade the actual pc case as well i highly recommend spending extra 25 dollars or something like that to get a nicer quality case and this is one of my newer favorites and this is fractal design focus 2 case and you can get this around 85 dollars or something like that it's very good performance and quality very hard to beat that type of price point for you later on if you want to upgrade some of the fans or so on it's got also two fans included and these are 140 millimeter fans now included so it's going to be much better airflow for the rest of your pc parts i highly recommend checking out this case not so much more but much higher quality and much nicer looking case as well there's black and white versions available as well if you want to go black or white build the upgrades are totaling to $1,262.84 so if your roughly budget is around $1,300 or 1250 something like that then this is the spec list that I'm gonna give you and bear in mind if you want to upgrade from the lower $750 budget then you don't have to upgrade all of them you can upgrade one or two parts just pick which one you upgrade i would highly recommend upgrading the motherboard one of the first things because that's going to open you up to a whole nother new land of upgradability because you have more m2 storage you have wi-fi in there you've got usb-c port for the front panel and so on but the rest of the parts for example gpu and ram are very easy upgrades in the future if you want to do them later and so the storage by the way if you do want to know which storage to upgrade and what does it mean and which ssds to go for and how to actually split your storage as a creator os drive project drive cache drive second project drive an archive drive what does it all mean there's a video on the channel tutorial you can find it as well here on the screen if you tap on the top right corner Corner or in the description below so the extras cost around 530 dollars extra and this is the best bang for buck pc for you as a creator if your budget is around 1500 dollars then i highly recommend check out the next build the 1500 dollar build which is linked in the description below thanks guys for watching i'll see you soon bye bye